The 133rd Murillo Fair wrapped up another successful year, and Sunday's sunny weather was the perfect send-off. The fairground saw thousands come out this weekend to enjoy rides, various forms of entertainment, and celebrate agricultural life. This weekend's weather offered a lot of sunshine and warm temperatures for fairgoers out in Murillo, and Sunday was no different. The fair had a variety of activities for people and families to enjoy over the three days, from midway rides to livestock contests and food, as well as ranch rodeo, which was one of the highlights of the weekend. Here we go. Organizers were expecting to see around 15,000 people over the weekend, and Lindsay Kozlowski, vice president of the Oliver Agricultural Society, says the turnout did not disappoint. We're really grateful for everybody who came to the fair. Uh, numbers are doing great. We are at about 13,000 people so far. So our usual uh, population goal is 15,000, and we've almost reached that, and we're only halfway through the third day. Kozlowski says along with the rides, food and entertainment, another important aspect of the Murillo Fair is celebrating agricultural life. Educating people about agriculture is one of the main goals for the fair and so we do that by having um, animal e exhibitions, um, craft and food growing competitions and exhibitions. Um, we do all kinds of horse and ranch related uh, displays. Uh, that's where the ranch rodeo and Jim Canna come in. Kozlowski says they are going to take a much needed week off, but after that we'll return to start planning for next year's fair. We go to um, an Ontario Agriculture Association uh, conference in February where all the fairs in Ontario meet and we meet all kinds of entertainment that's available in Ontario. We're always trying to reach those goals and have um, more new and fresh entertainment for our patrons.